Hello there and welcome to the presentation which is entitled The Power of Revit for 3D Residential and Commercial Building Design. My name is Douglas and I'm your presenter and also the founder of Landback and Skillmax Academy. Now I just want to indicate that I've been using Revit for over seven years now, you know, on both architectural and structural projects. I've been teaching Revit and also some other BIM software for the AEC industry. And before I proceed, let me just show you one of the courses that is out there that you can also enroll in if you are interested. Let's talk about why you need to, you know, to learn Revit. For those who are already using Revit, you already know the benefits of it. For those who haven't, you know, used Revit, you are going to understand why you need to use Revit. Now, you need to know that Revit is built for, you know, for the building information modeling, which is popularly known as BIM. Okay. And then Autodesk, uh, Autodesk Revit software, you know, it works the way architects, engineers, and designers think, you know, enabling you know anyone to design in the most efficient you know and effective way now if you've never heard of beam there are of course some who've heard about beam beam is you know is simply a digital representation of the physical and functional characteristics of the building facility so two aspects are there the physical and the functional part okay so it's, it's important that before you implement your project on your ground you have to model and you know you know, embed all its physical and functional characteristics so that you, you are sure that what you are designing is going to work on the actual ground. And that's the main reason why, you know, that was, you know, innovated, you know. As you know, the BIM is a major innovation in the AEC industry. Therefore, it's important that, you know, each and every engineer, architect or designer, you know, should start operating in the BIM well. What, you are, what we use in BIM is a tool which is a software for you to implement BIM. Of course, you need the software. And Revit is one of the leading BIM software. So this is the reason why I want to present this so that out of all the other BIM softwares, you go for Revit. So let's look at why you need to, you know, to use Revit. And that is the power of Revit. Okay. And whether you are, you are operating in the BIM environment or not, you still need to use Revit as it has a number of advantages, unlike using, you know, AutoCAD. The first advantage or the power of Revit is that the plans created, the plans are created automatically during 3D modeling. Okay. So as you are modeling, you know, your walls, you know, the, the floors and everything, as you can see from the two projects. And these two projects are the ones that you are going to complete within the course. That is if you enroll. The plans will automatically be created by, by what, what I mean by this is that the plans will be available for you to extract them. Of course, they will not appear the way you are seeing the plans like this. You need to add, of course, the annotation and detailing. And again, the tools are there for you to use. Okay. You are going to have everything in terms of the walls, the doors, the windows, and you just, you know, add the annotations and that will be very, very fast for you. Okay, let's go to number two that is the parametric elements the components and the families okay so in revit as you can see from here all the components that you see the doors the walls the windows the floors and everything here are parametric that means that you are just able to once you place it you are just able to click on it go to its properties change the you know the sizes add all the you know the the properties in terms of materials and everything that you want that particular component you know you know to contain you can go to the families we have libraries there where you can get all those families and also create your own okay so that is another you know power of revit that you have to utilize okay and like working in 2d environment the third one is the power of you know its scheduling power you see revit has you know power of scheduling too that is under the schedules and quantities in the lesson this is ably explained okay so you are able to extract all the information that you need from the from the 3d model for example the schedules the floor finish schedules the window schedules the door schedules you know all the beams the columns all that information can be extracted from the model just using some few clicks okay and uh, and as i said in revit you do the modeling so for you to construct you know your your 
your building, you need you know the construction documents and Revit has all the tools that you need within there. You don't have to export, you know, whatever you have to AutoCAD for detailing. You don't have to do that. You have all the tools within Revit and you are able to produce all the construction documents according to your standard. The fourth one, by directional associativity and if you, for those who may know, the name Revit is coming from revise and edit, okay? So we understand very well that on big projects, it's tedious, you know, to start doing the revisions because whether you like it or not, you are going to have revisions most of the times on your project. So with Revit, you are not even going to worry about, you know, editing and revising because it's just some few clicks here and there. You are able to, you know, to edit everything, you know, and submit to your client, you know, depending on the request that you've been given. So let me just jump straight to Revit so that I just show you, you know, how powerful Revit is in terms of, you know, revising and editing. So I've just opened the two projects that you are going to learn from start to finish. This is the commercial building, which you are going to model. This one you are going to model and detail and produce all the construction documents. So I just want to demonstrate what, what it means you know, revisions in Revit are e very, very easy to, to do. For example, if this is a door, okay, actually this is a window, that is window 6. You can see that if I just go to the shade with window 6, I'm able to, I'm able to even change this window the size from here, it's going to change everywhere. So in Revit, a change anywhere is a change, you know, everywhere. So you don't have, the way we do it in AutoCAD, if you need to revise anything here, then you have to go to the views and do that. But in Revit, you just have to change, you know, in one view and the changes will be applied. So let me just demonstrate on this. I'm just going to change the, this one. This is window, this is window seven. And you can see that the width is 900. Is it? Let me just check. Window 7, yeah, it's right here. So if I want, I can even go change it from the, as I said, a change anywhere is a change everywhere. I can even go to window 7 there, maybe go to my schedule there, that is the width, and let me just change this one to 1000 millimeters, enter on my keyboard, accept that. You see that it's going to update here, as you can see, and it has changed here. So whatever I want to change here in Revit, your revisions are going to be very, very easy. So we are going to end here with our presentation so you can get in touch with me, okay? And if you'd like to learn more, as I've mentioned, please make sure that you click the link there in the course where you, we are going to learn Revit architecture from start to finish, from modeling until you know how to produce all the construction documents. The advantage with this course is that actually I've searched the internet. I endeavor to ensure that I create a course which is going to enable anyone, once they finish, they are able to work on their own without any problem. So if you are interested, see you in the lesson. Just click on the link within the page there.